This is my 1993 Chevrolet C3500 pickup truck with a 6.5 diesel. And the reason for this video is I've had an inquiry about overriding the factory glow plug circuit. One person made mention if I ran the auxiliary um, solenoid and I made the statement no it's parallel and first of all I am not a professional this is what I did with my truck and it's been working for about six months without any issue. You can see where I put an auxiliary solenoid, which is continuous rating, not intermittent. And unfortunately, I did not have any terminals for 8 gauge wire so I had to use these bus connectors here kind of looks bulky but to get the job done I just tapped the auxiliary solenoid into the factory one and followed it in parallel not series and this is extra nice because especially springtime and fall it could be slightly cool out but the engine compartment with the hood down and it does have a factory insulation there um, it's too warm in here and it does not kick on the factory glow plugs so I had to come up with a way to override it and inside on the dash I installed a starter button right there and one nice thing about this is since it's run parallel the idiot light on the dash even activates anytime I press it and sometimes I've had to press it as a what they call an afterburn just to maintain that heat in the cylinder right after starting because the factory glow plug circuit does have an afterburn dependent on the ambient temperature. And sometimes that may not be good enough. Mine kicked on as many as seven times when it's like in the 30s. This morning it was 38.3 degrees. But of course I didn't start it that early, so I didn't have no issue. Of course I don't have no issue now anyway. But this is how I did it, and it works for me. The negative, there's only one negative part of this setup, and that is I cannot put the engine trowel back on, but that's no big deal. But ever since I bought the truck, I've had issues. And if I can get up in there, I even tried to isolate the factory solenoid with putting a two inch angle with some insulation. I'm not sure if it's fiber glass or Bakelite. But that really did not help with the um, with my problem. But the setup I have here solves it totally. 
but once again my disclaimer is this works for me and if you do anything like this on your own vehicle you take your own responsibility but anyway there it is all sealed with the Florida flag thank you for watching